YouTube, that's 13, that's enough. Need to bring me your torch. Internet, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. Uh, any day now. Go on, get, get, wait, what's that mark? Oh, right, this is the beginning of the video. Internet, I'm so sorry. My name is Perdium, and don't worry, your smuffing isn't gonna be on the list. It didn't count. But what does count is a top 20, the 20 most iconic exits in Survivor. From the votes coming in to the players walking out, from season one to present day, here's who I got. Okay, I'll put it in the hole, he whimpered. It didn't take long, but we finally got a man who was such a super fan of Survivor, he literally cried as he was voted out. Wait, this was season one. Those were fake tears? He was joking the whole time, and here I thought the coconut phone was real. Yeah, it's Greg from season one, Borneo. Bye, everyone. Greg, the tribe has spoken. Total blindsides, shit-eating grins, as the carpet is being rolled out for Rupert, the lovable tie-dye pirate to walk the plank on season seven, Pearl Islands. Rupert's exit sent a shockwave through the community and this is what you get for trusting people, Rupert, a knife in the back. I cannot believe that. Rupert, the tribe has spoken. I always get hurt trusting people. I want so badly to be accepted and I never get the acceptance that I want. I don't fit. So much for my dreams. Snakes, rats, and a little bit of shark on the side. The king is dead, long live the king. Hatch has been bamboozled from season eight All-Stars. It's big game hunting, and they got rich right in their sights. I've been bamboozled! Man, oh man. <laughs> Played it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> rich, the tribe has spoken. One of my personal favorite exits, let's recall Jamie from season 11, Guatemala, who gets so paranoid he may get voted out that he ends up creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. And right as his torch is going out, he looks straight at the rest of them and is just ready to leave one last remark. And then he spends his final words ranting about Lydia. Jamie, trap is Blindsided, nice! Now that's how you vote somebody out. It really hurts that Lydia voted against me because I took her so far. As much as I warned Lydia about times she was in trouble, she couldn't tell me I was in trouble. It hurts when you see good people go bad. Man, what the hell, man? Are you kidding me, man? He didn't deserve that, man. Not like that, man. Bunch of scumbags, man. Yeah, up next is Judd, also from season 11, Guatemala. The guy who took his blind side really well. So much for his dreams. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys all get bit by a freaking crocodile. Scumbags. Judd, the tribe has spoken. Scumbags. I also want to give a quick shout out to Cindy in the very next episode, even though she's probably more of an honorable mention for this top 20. I love her little quip as she's grabbing her torch. She should have just given up the cars. That's three votes, that's enough. Need to bring me your torch. Think about you guys when I see the stars through my sunroof of my new car. From rubbing it in their face to standing tall and proud, I gotta include Shane's exit from season 12, Panama. Not only does he have the best blindside face ever, he's just a range of emotions, all culminating in utter disbelief. Ah, Shane. Oh. Wow. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a chocolate ice cream bar in about one minute. I mean, one minute. Shane, the tribe has spoken. Next up, I have just one word, just one word. Damn. The first boot from season 15 China, the man known as Chicken just erupts and clucks at his ouster, and the reaction from those in the blast radius is fun to rewatch. First person voted out of Survivor China. Chicken. Damn! Chicken? Tribe spoken. I heard him. And now we've got one of the most iconic moments in the history of the show beyond just the exit, but the exit itself is definitely worth a mention. From season 16, Micronesia, Eric gives up immunity at the final five and the women blindside him and every shot in this sequence is a work of art. Eric's head collapses, Probe says it's a life lesson, the women giggle and Eric sprints away into the darkness. You guys drive me crazy. I've lost my ring as dumb as survivor ever. <laughs> I should have known better. I 
think that is what you call a life lesson. Death before dishonor is a mantra to live by, but I gotta say it's pretty bad when you get called out for not practicing what you preach. Boston Rob's elimination in season 20 Heroes vs. Villains is one for the books as Coach throws his vote away to not pick a side, the enlightened centrist of it all, and in turn Rob goes home. You're a little man. Rob, the tribe has spoken. Sometimes you get players who only want to talk to the tribe on their way out, and then sometimes you get players like Dawson from season 25 Philippines, who gives one of the most awkward exits ever. In 43 seasons anyway. She just wants a little Jeffrey Lovin, is that too much to ask? Also, her final words are great and really segue into the next player on deck. So big. I want a motorcycle, a helmet, a sidecar, and a pink gun. I think a lot of fans who remember the final words are expecting this one because, yeah, it's Jeff Kent from the same season as Dawson. The man is just stunned at his ouster by the hands of Penner, no less, but he wasn't even here for the money. I mean, heck, it ain't that much money once the government gets its hands on it. Thanks, Obama. Jeff, you bring me your torch. You know what pisses me off? Is I think I've made about $60 million playing baseball, and I want this freaking million dollars in this game. And it's not even a million bucks, it's 600 grand by the time Obama takes it. Speaking of Penner, we're going for a triple, as Penner's exit, also from season 25, is in my top 20, and it's a fantastic send off to a memorable player. Abby wants a hug, Penner is not going there, and then he leaves humming a classic Survivor tune. I love it all. Bye, can I have a hug too? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna hug. Hug anybody else. Oh, okay. Better? Tribe spoke. Keep your sunny side up and suck eggs. Oh yeah, now speaking of Abby, let's talk about Andrew Savage's exit from season 31 Cambodia after he gets blown out of the water by Wentworth's idol, but hey, at least he made jury. Savage. All right, baby. <laughs> Unbelievable. Savage, chop spoken. Good deal, Andrew. You made it to the jury. Oh, right back at you. Okay, this next one needs a little explaining. It's kind of cringe. It's when Neil is voted out of the jury on season 32, Ko Rong. He gets up and gives this biting, mean comment to Michelle, who just voted him out, and it sort of comes out of nowhere. For those who don't know, it turns out he was referencing Michelle's audition video that he was able to watch online before the season began. Neil tries to sound badass himself, but it doesn't really land, but I still think for all the effort and strange circumstances around it and for just the cringe of it all, his exit is worth a nod given most are just pretty tame. Hi, I'm Michelle Fitzgerald. I'm 24 years old from Freehold, New Jersey, and I'm applying to be on Survivor because I'm a badass bitch. You came to this game thinking you're a badass bitch, but you're more like a cute little puppy He's still suckling at the teeth, and I don't think you stand a chance. It sounds like you might have made the right choice. Yeah, I think so. And then we get to the exit of all exits. From season 33, Millennials vs. Gen X, it's THE Michaela Bradshaw getting blindsided by Jay, who really messed up something good, bro. As far as I'm concerned, this exit has it all. The blindside, the reactions, Jeff getting quiet, Hannah losing her words, Brett's face, Michaela's salt, Jay's ice cold response, and she comes back for her shoes too. Michaela. What? Did you do that? Yeah. What did you? Seventh person voted out. Michaela, need to bring me a torch? Okay. Damn, Jay. You just sound good, bro. If Michaela's exit is at the top, then it's likely right next to this one as I am sticking to season 33 with Jay's blind side at the final six. Huh, funny how that works, Jay. The man thought he had an idol. It wasn't real. He thought he was safe. He wasn't safe. Jay's face, upon learning the truth, is everything. And his good nature and being a good sport about all of this on his way out, you just can't help but have your root forms to return. This is. Ooh not a hidden immunity idol. 
Oh my god, dude, you freaking got me, you bastard. You gave it everything, You dude. got me, you guys. I hate all of you, dude. You're all warriors. It was mad fun. Go ahead, Jeffrey. <laughs> Snuff my torch. Jay, <laughs> try to smoke. We've got four spots left, so let's finally part ways with the queen who was never crowned, Suri from season 34, Game Changers. She wasn't voted out, but she still had to leave. And her exit is so graceful, it's so emotional, and it's so damn annoying. Why did she have to go? What the heck is this legacy advantage? Whatever, it's beneath her. She's a legend of the show, and her elimination is emblematic of that through and through. You become the first person in 34 seasons to be voted out simply because there literally is no other choice. I'm going out in grand style. It's never happened before, and it just makes this experience that much more special for me. Suri, <laughs> you want to say it? The tribe has spoken. <laughs> On the flip side of Grace, we have Natalia from season 37, David vs. Goliath, whose last words were all about how she wanted to hurt Alec so badly. Why is he smiling? Stop smiling! The guy blindsides Natalia at the swap, and she is none too pleased. Natalia, need to bring me your torch. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, shut up. Where do I put this? Why are you smiling? Oh my God, I can't handle you right now. And so as we turn the final corner, heading to the end, internet, I ask you this. Can, can I have your jacket, please? I'll trade you some rice for it. Yeah, it's the next episode of season 37. It's the much beloved and amusing exit of Natalie Cole and her ever so comfy jacket. Angelina really wanted that and had to basically play a whole other game on top of Survivor to try and get it. And she failed. Natalie, is there any way I could have your jacket? Natalie. Natalie, the tribe has spoken. Thank you, too. Natalie. Time for you to go. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't give Angelina my jacket because I didn't know if she was a part of the reason why I'm out. So why should I? I don't have to. And I chose not to, so I'm wearing it. At this point in the video, if we include Cindy's, that's technically 20 exits, but I wanted to make room for one more season, one more player, and that is the very awkward exit by Danny from season 44. He pulls out an inside joke and tries to do a Robert De Niro impression, and while I did cringe a little, or a lot, I think it's made infinitely worse when Jeff has no reaction and is just totally quiet. Hey, you snuff my torch, Jeff? Snuff my torch. Huh? Snuff my torch. Snuff, snuff, go ahead, snuff. <laughs> Danny? Hmm. The tribe spoke. Poetic justice. <laughs> And that's it. Those are the top 20 most iconic exits in Survivor. Let me know what you think about them and if there's any others I should have included or just any of your favorites. Regardless of who I forgot, a big thank you to my patrons for not exiting stage left, pursued by Bear. Your torches are still lit and all's well that ends well. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to grab your torch on your way out. Whoa, hey, that actually fits with the end of my video for the first time in years, maybe ever. I usually just say something random. Huh. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Seventh person voted out of Survivor at Sal Island. Nick. Nick, the tribe has spoken. Sorry. All you kids in your mid-20s that are in my situation, confused, not sure which direction life's pulling you, and you're just trying to find yourself. I urge us all, please, be hungry, be foolish. Block out the noise, find yourselves, be who you potentially are, and be true to your dreams and, and what you really want to do. If we all maximize that personal freedom, then we'll change the world.